Welcome to IT Person Enterprises Solution to Pass Question in BECE Mathematics Section A Objectives Year 2016 Questions 1 to 20 I am Lawrence Danso Amwakon alias Kapiri Impose. I am going to be your facilitator. June 2016, Mathematics 1, Objective Test, Duration 1 hour. Question 1, which of the following is a finite set? The answer is D, because it contains a definite number of elements or a countable number of elements. That is one two three four elements question two given that the set m equals to a b c find the number of subsets of m the number of subsets of m is given by two to the power n where n is the number of elements the number of elements in this case is 3 1, 2, 3 so 2 to the power 3 which equals to 8 so the answer is D question 3 if the set P equals 2, 3, 4, 6 and 8 and the set Q equals 1, 2, 3 and 4 find P intersection Q for an element to be a member of P intersection Q the element should be a member of P and a member of Q so 2, 3 and 4 2, 3 and 4 are members of P and members of Q 2, 3 and 4 so the answer is A Question 4. A boy bought 3 pairs of shoes at 17 Ghana cities, 50 pesos per a pair, and paid with 2 50 Ghana cities news. How much change was he given? Now, total amount he had in hand was 50 times 2, which is 100 Ghana cities. Now the source will cost 3 times so 17.50 times 3 0 15 carry 1 21 plus 1 22 carry 2 3 plus 2 5 so 52.50 now 0 10 minus 5 now 9 minus 2 7 4 so the answer is C question 5 find the least common multiple LCM of the numbers 5 10 and 12 we shall find the product of the prime factors of 5 then 10 then 12 for 5 it is 5 for 10 is 2 times 5 for 12 12 equals 4 times 3 and 4 is 2 squared times 3 now for the LCM we shall consider the individual prime factors for the prime factor 2 the highest power that can be found among the 3 numbers equals 2 squared for the prime factor 3 is 3 and for the prime factor 5 is 5 so the answer is C question 6 correct 48,947.2547 to the nearest 100 the answer is B question 7 simplify 16 plus 5.6 plus 0 0.681 that is 
0.6 plus 5.6 plus 0.681 1 8 12 carry 1 11 12 2 so the answer is b question 8 evaluate 4 over 5 minus 1 over 3 plus 2 over 9 that is 4 over 5 minus 1 over 3 plus 2 over 9 the LCM of 5, 3, and 9 is 45. 5 goes into 45, 9 times 4. So 9 times 4. 3 goes into 45, 15. Plus 9 goes into 45, 5. So 5 times 2. So 36 minus 15 plus 10 over 45, which is the same as 36 minus 5 over 45 which equals to 31 over 45 so the answer is C question 9 I'll read the following integers from the least to the highest minus 4 9 minus 10 minus 7 and 2 the lowest is minus 10 followed by minus 7 followed by minus 4 followed by 2 and followed by 9 so the answer is A question 10 simplify into brackets 46 times 102 plus into brackets 102 times 54 that is 46 times 102 plus 102 times 54 now 102 is a common factor so we shall take away 102 and we shall be left with 46 over here plus 54 over here so 102 and this will give us 100 so the answer is one o two zero zero so the answer is b question 11 college 5178.3426 to two decimal places the answer is c question 12 find the simple interest on one twenty thousand Ghana cities for five mills at 12% per annum. The interest is going to be equal to principal times time times the root. The principal is 120,000 and the time is 5 over 12 years. And then the root is going to be equal to 12% that is 12 over 100 12 goes into 100 so we shall be left with 100 5 times 12 is 60 so 6000 so the answer is A question 13 15 boys took 12 hours to build a plot of land if 9 boys work at the same rate how long will it take them to read the plot of land? 15 boys took 12 hours. Therefore, 9 boys will take more. So 15 divided by 9 times 12 hours, which equals to 3 goes here, 3. 3 goes here 4, 3 goes here 1, 3 goes here 5, so 20 hours. So the answer is D. Question 14. A car costs 12,500 Ghana cities. A discount of 9% is given for cash payment. Find the cost of the car when payment is made by cash. A car had a discount of 9% so 
the amount paid for the car is going to be go to 100% minus 9%, which equals to 91%. So the man paid 91% for the car. So 91% of 91% of 12,500. So we shall be left with 125 times 91. 125, that's multiplying by 1. This time this is 45, carry 4. This time this is 18, plus 4, 22, carry 2. This time this is 9, 11. So, 5, 7, 3, 11. So the answer is C. Question 15. Simplify 5 squared times 2 squared times 5 squared times 2. That is 5 squared times 2 squared times 5 squared times 2. This can be written as 5 squared times 5 squared times 2 squared times 2. 5 squared times 5 squared is 5 to the power 4. That is, we added up the indices. 2 squared times 2 is going to 2 to the power 3. This is the same as 2 to the power 3 times 5 to the power 4. So the answer is D. The table shows the mass of some students in a test. The mass are 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. And the corresponding number of students are 3, 4, 5, 4, 5, 4, 7, 3, 4, 2, 2. Use the information to answer questions 16 and 17. Question 16. What is the modal mark? The modal mark is the mark with the highest number of students. The highest number of students in this case is 7. So the modal mark is 6. So the answer is C. Question 17. How many students fail the test if the pass mark is 4? If the pass mark is 4, then students who fail the test should score less than 4. That is 3, 2, 1, or 0, which corresponds to this range. So, the number of students will be 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus 4, which equals to 16. So the answer is C. Question 18. What is the probability of obtaining a 4 when a fair die is tossed once? A die has 6 surfaces, numbered from 1 to 6. So the probability of obtaining a 4 is 1 over 6. Question 19. Make P the subject of the relation. R equals to P plus Q all divided by 2. That is R equals to P plus Q all divided by 2. We shall multiply both sides of the equation by 2 to eliminate the fraction. So times 2 times 2. This will cancel this. This equals to 2R, P plus Q. We shall send Q to the other side of the equation. So we shall get 2R minus Q to be equal to P, or P equals to 2R minus Q. So the answer is B. Question 20. Given that t equals p squared plus 1, find p when t equals to 10. We have been given t to be equal to p squared plus 1. And then we have been given t to be 10. So 10 is equal to p squared plus 1. Now p squared is going to be equal to 10. This will reverse and we'll send to the other side of the equation. So 9 equals to p squared. So P is going to be square root of 9, which is 3. So the answer is A.